Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today, we are going to teach you how to fix that horrible, 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 famous, hey, I opened up the program, but it's not showing. Hmm, I have a virus. Well, that may or may not be true, but today on the Tech Me Show, we're going to give you an idea of how you could possibly uh, fix this. Assuming, again, you don't have a virus, or maybe you do, or maybe a program changed something on your system, which is totally possible. Um, but we're going to teach you today how to fix it yourself. Usually, it's a registry issue. A lot of times, it gets corrupted, or something got moved, or uh, there's a million different possibilities. However, today, we're going to teach you how to resolve it, uh, going into the registry. Now... I hate to show you anything with the registry. I truly do. Uh, the registry can be a dangerous place if you don't know what you're doing. Which is why I'm going to tell you right now, use this at your own risk. And I highly recommend you back up, which I'll show you how to do. So, let's go ahead and click start. Uh, because we do want to go to the registry. But, and I'll tell you why, we need to run it as the administrator. So, we'll go ahead and click start and type in reg edit. Now you see it, right? Right click it, select run as administrator. Now if you have UAC, this will pop up, show details, that's fine. Go ahead and select yes. Okay, now here you have the basic registry. Uh, I know it looks like nothing. If uh, you've never been in here, well, this is uh, kind of what you get. Um, but before we continue, let's go ahead and back up our registry here, right? Go ahead and click File. And we want to select Export. Go forth and do so. And save it to wherever you'd like to save it. So I'll go forth and click Desktop and Save. And give it a moment. This is going to take a, several moments, actually. Um, let's go forth and start in the root uh, class, uh, which is right here. Now, we want to look for the one with the uh, period, right, dot exe. Normally, I just press period, but look how many things if I keep pressing period. Um, so, we're going to slide down slowly because there is a lot. And, oops, see, it'll go right past you. Here we are, dot exe. Now, that is short for uh, executable if you didn't know right um, so and it's funny it shows you X uh, MS download actually I don't have to if you look the value data what I would have normally have changed is exe file which is exactly what we want so because our default is exe file we're gonna go down and go to uh, exe file so we'll tap E on our keyboard and here we are now we want to look for exe file which is already in the default um, in this case it might be fine but let's go forth and continue down make sure here we are exe file right so you want to go ahead and right click application left click modify you want to go forth and type quote percent sign the number one end quote space percent sign and uh, the asterisk you see that hopefully that'll highlight it and you can see it better anyways so that is right we want to go forth and select OK now if you notice it changed from the default data which was application now to this okay we want to go to shell we want to go forth and click open and with open selected uh, if you see the default it shows you that nothing it has no value right um, so we want to go forth and right click that left click modify and we're going to change the value data actually to the same thing so we want to go forth and press the um, uh, quote and then we want to do percent sign 
and then we want to do the number one. Then we want to end that quote, space, percent sign, asterisk. And so that's exactly what it needs to look like. Now, mind you, you cannot mess this up. Uh, again, you see that? I have highlighted it. That's what it needs to look like. Do not have it anything different. Then go ahead and select OK. Now, if you notice, the no data is now data, which of which we just spoke about. And uh, that actually should do it. And go ahead and close that up and you're good to go. Um, but that should do it uh, for today, guys. I hope uh, this video was useful to you. And uh, I hope this uh, cures any uh, executable problems you might have. Um, and if not, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, we're very interested to hear what you have to say. We're always here for you. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at TechMeShow. Again, we're also on uh, Google+. Plus. Can't stress enough. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really love making these videos, and we cannot do it without you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching.